Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. True Gamer, as always, for you. And today, we are finally hopping into the game dubbed the Dark Souls of VR called Grimlord. Now, I covered this game quite a while back when it was literally called Project L still. And I'll leave a link in the description below and kind of right up top here so you can see that video and kind of see a comparison. I have not played the game since, and I did that on purpose because Project L was actually pretty mind-blowing to me, and I want to see what changed, what's new, all of those things in between, and uh, we're going to hop right into it. And uh, if it is truly like Dark Souls, we can expect to die. Let's take a look at the settings. We got a height measurement, which is great. We are going to be sitting, camera type, movement system, turn mode smooth, left controller, hand, combat hand, grip mode, mode is hold, that's perfect. Uh, movement system, might have to change that because I'm not quite sure exactly what they're going to mean by that, but we'll move into the interface. We definitely want all of that in there. We can choose to hide our body if we wish. Eyes as high as it will go. So that's perfect. We are run on a 3080, 10 gigabyte. We will see how this goes. Let's go ahead and hop into the new game. So far, I love the interface. I love the choosing of the menu oh man it just looks cool it kind of looks like it is a uh, basically just like an old script type thing we can turn off the boss's HP and stuff which is absolutely fantastic for everybody that wants to be super immersive Yes, we're going to do the tutorial. Oh, and I love how it's got the, like, Dark Souls sound there. That's kind of cool. So none of this was here when I first played Project L. So let's go ahead and check it out. Very, very interesting. I think we might need to configure our, our height again real quick just to uh, make sure... We're doing exactly what we need to do here. Maybe we won't. We will see how big the enemies are. We may have to stand up. Let's go ahead and resume. Kind of starting a dungeon, kind of like you would in, uh, in like Skyrim, I suppose, which is pretty cool. Definitely dig that. Quite interesting, no doubt about it. The graphics feel great. Uh, the wind sound in the background sounds really good. We are going to go for it. Very cool. Very cool. And you know what? We actually pick up the satchel. Pretty neat. They definitely changed your belt and things like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and... Oh, look. It's got an arm hanging out there. I can't save you, buddy. I'm sorry. You're probably already dead anyways. Wow. Definitely soul-esque for sure. Very, very interesting. Alright, so you can jump. This is very neat, but I think I need to, to go down here first. I want to make sure... Okay, we can't go this way. I am one of those guys when I'm playing these type of dungeon crawlers. You have to explore every area because you just never know what's laying around. It could be an enemy that sneaks up behind you. Could be uh, just a hidden item too. You just you just never know. Okay, so swing your arms back and forth, much kind of like battle talent there. That that definitely happens with battle talent. Straight sword. Oh. Pick that up. 
thought I could sheath it, maybe. Feels like you can. Can't go through there yet. Yeah, so you have arm movement to, to actually run, which is great. Oh man, we got our first baddie right here. Swing your sword to defeat him. Okay. Let me uh, try something real quick here. I'm going to be playing around with the settings for a little while, that's for sure. Since we stood back up, let's go ahead and do that. I just feel like a game like this, standing, is probably your best bet, even though you know I love sitting. Holy cow. You want some of this? Oh, I blocked it. So I'm not sure how much hand-holding this game is going to have, but you're definitely able to block because I just did it. So that's pretty cool. Plus nine matter, and I'm sure that's going to uh, be added in here to some of the character uh, building. None of that was there before, so this is a brand new experience to me, 100%. I love the blocking. Some of the physics feels a little off, but wow, I just chopped off his head. Okay, I wanted to pick up his mace there, but that's alright. We don't really need it. Hit exclusively to knock off his shield. Okay, he likes the shield bash. Okay, got him. Chop his arm off here. Definitely got another block in. Nice. Very, very nice. I feel like I should be playing this with my camera on because it is definitely a bit immersive. And as soon as we get through the tutorial here, uh, I might just do that. Kind of want to get some of the gameplay here first. Make sure we're not uh, missing anything. Okay, some leather. Definitely got that. Which is pretty cool. Boy, I might get addicted to something like this. I don't think we can go through this door. That's why. Okay. Want to make sure here. Want to make sure. Got a body laying there. Pretty wild. Oh, well, I knew there was somebody behind me. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I love chopping heads off. I wish we could pick them up. They kind of disappear, though. All right, what we got in here? Can I kill that? <laughs> Chop everything. Chop everything, just in case. You are obviously not alive, sir. Alright, let's go. Environment is very, very immersive. Absolutely great so far. I'm waiting for that thing to come alive over there for sure. Oh! Got a little bit of a uh, T-pose thing going on, and I guess that's your life now on the on the right of your hand. Got man on the right, life on the left, which is interesting. I like that. And the body is kind of all twisty and weird right now. Not sure what the deal is with that, but... Go ahead and move back. And it might be because of the settings I have on it. We'll, uh, we'll kind of try to check that out and see if we can't change that in just a little bit. I think it might have been how I calibrated my uh, my settings the first time. I put the shield on my back? Nope, doesn't look like it. We gotta hold it. I 
thought it was all the way down. Definitely is now, that's for sure. I thought maybe, just maybe, it would uh, raise the gate here for us. But apparently that's not a thing. So let's uh, let's backtrack. I'm starting to think it might be one of the gates on the stairs, possibly. Just like souls. Uh, I mean, this is this is great. Gives you everything you want out of the souls game so far. Very, very interesting. Still can't get in there, so let's, uh... Yep, sure did. Raise these stairs right here, which is perfect. Sheath your weapon to climb. Okay. I would like to do that. Shield, I would like to... Let's see if we can throw it over there. Definitely can. But I also uh, lost it, so it is what it is. Got the blood on the wall there. Very cool. Very, very cool. Alright. Sheath your weapon and rest here. Grab the levitating magic shard. I will. Hold trigger for a few seconds to rest. Very nice. Looks pretty cool. So we definitely rest it, and it looks like we got our health and all that back here. It looks like there's certain places you can rest at if you want to. Spin that around. That's what that looks like. Let's continue on. Continue on here. Can't wait to grab some magic. That's going to be very, very interesting. Holy moly, what are you? And I got rid of my shield like a dummy. This should be interesting. Hey, buddy, old pal. What's going on? You have to dodge him for sure. Who? Check my health. This is definitely crazy. Definitely wild. Aha! Dodged him! Slow and steady wins the race! Oh, where's my hand going? Oh, he pushed me back. On guard! So sorry I don't have my shield. Haha! Dodged it! Aha! Definitely getting better at it. Oh, you're pulling out all the moves. Look at you. You ain't crazy. I do like how you can uh, dodge pretty pretty quickly in this. That's just good. Oh, that almost got me. That was close. All right. I am really digging this. This is wild in VR. I think we might have one hell of a game here. Oh, dodge that. You see that? That's crazy. Huh. Oh, just barely missed. Barely missed again. Holy cow. That dodge mechanic is so sick. Oh, he's stunned. He's stunned. Punch him. Oh, okay. He took a, took a good chunk of health right there off of me. I'm doing this without a shield. I can't believe it. Oh, okay. He got me there for sure. Couldn't dodge it. Coming at me. Coming at me hard. Got his 100 swing combo. Oh, I better back up. Health is not looking good, but I do have this, which I believe is some health. I think. Oof.
We're gonna get there. Make sure you got some play space for this game, because you definitely are gonna want it here. Oh man, I died. Loading from checkpoint. Holy crap. I almost had it, y'all. Almost had first try. Gotta figure out how to drink that. I thought you just kind of hold it up to your mouth. Could be wrong. Let's go ahead and try again. Epic. Absolutely epic, that's for sure. I'm sure if I had a shield, it would be a little bit better, but we don't got one. And that's just how it's going to be. Oh yeah, okay, so we can pick up our souls from right here. Believe. Okay, so all of our... They're calling it matter instead of souls. Oh, that was close. Holy cow. The sense of... Let me see, can I... Can I run over here? Yes. Let's, let's push this fool off the... That'd be real cool. Have him just swing himself over the, the edge would be nice. Oh, we gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Oh, I'm determined because I want his matter. <laughs> no pun intended. I want your soul. Matter just sounds dirty. I love the animations on the characters, though. Very, very interesting. Oh, dodge. Dodge. And yeah, make sure you are not near any of your TVs or anything like this, because this can definitely take out a TV real quick. Watch out for N. Whoa, we got a little backshot thing there. Go ahead, I'll let you do your hundred swings. Weigh yourself out. Ooh, dodge again. This is super epic feeling, for sure. Keep backing up. Push you off the cliff. Check my health. Ooh, he really can't touch me too many more times. I'm gonna die again. Almost there. See if we can grab some health. That's definitely health. Yes, it is. Should be good to go for a little while now. Take that, you dummy. Oh. Gotcha, fool. Gotcha. I will take your soul. What you got here? Not sure what that is, but... Looks fairly interesting. Guardian's axe head unlocked. Okay, so we can uh, clearly get some type of... Ooh, that one's got me s sweaty, but it looks like you could definitely get some type of uh, crafting going on here, which is cool. Very nice. Check over here, make sure nothing is being missed. I mean, the level looks absolutely fantastic. This is, this is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Absolutely love it. Just take a look at the details. Pretty wild, for sure. Alright. 
Definitely having fun with this. I think I might be in love here. Never seen a game come from such a such a alpha phase to something full on like this and having the combat I mean it really feels like you're in a Souls game, no doubt about it. It definitely yeah, put you to the test. You have to learn the combat. You have to learn the characters. You know how they're how they're going to to fight and all that. I don't know if you really truly could play this sitting down. To be honest with you, waiting for a dragon to come out of nowhere. What say you, you friend or foe? Friend or foe? Hey, you. Stop right there if you know any better. I'd turn back if I were you. Okay. Huh? Jump off the ledge if you have to. <laughs> Go ahead and check over here real quick. This might kind of look like it's the monastery. That might be a save point. I think that's what this is right here, I believe. Yep, sure is. So we can definitely... Uh, I think that saves everything for you. Sure does, sure does. And you can kind of warp back and forth if you want to go go that route, I believe. Okay. Definitely need to go this way. I even know where you'll be going. Okay. Tell me. Send you, to the lion's den. you faithless. Ever wondered what is your purpose? Why are you here? This is how it is for the rest of your life. <laughs> Too much of a coward to On guard. So you want me to do it. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but let's do it. Stab! Punch! Aha! Judo blocked that! Alright, let's go ahead and, uh... Go ahead and die here, because clearly I wasn't supposed to kill him. Let's go ahead and check it out. We got a sword. Did I drop it? Yep, drop the sword. So I'm not sure what that is. You spawn in and your weapons drop. So that definitely needs to be fixed a little bit. I will pick up my matter. Thank I you. Know where you'll be going. Do you? Where will I be going? You have no idea what's waiting for you. Don't be so hopeful and think this is going to end well. You are just the almighty them. seeing, aren't you? Discards it. I've lived through it all. Well, that didn't sound good. That definitely sounded like a dragon. Where you'll be going. Okay. Sure you do. Let me get this bow and arrow real quick, bruh. See what this is about. Put this right here. And this right here. Let's see how good the bow and arrow is, eh? What the heck is that thing? Looks like a rogue. Ooh, the bow and arrow looks great besides the arm glitching there. That feels real good. I pull it out. Ooh, I can use it to climb though, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Pretty cool. I definitely dig that. I wish I could put it on my back. That'd be fantastic. I Look at you! Down for a, little bit. a mage! I want your outfit! No, no. It'll leave a void for Grimm to sneak in. What should I do? What should I do? Good adventurer, could you spare me a moment of your time? 
I think so. If you can craft a magic staff, I, as an enthusiast for the arcane arts, can teach you a thing or two about spellcasting. Okay, so I definitely want to get to know you. Let's see what we can do over here. Maybe I can craft a, a staff of some sort. Uh, let me in. Alright, let's go ahead and check it out real quick. Really wish I could put my bow on my back. That would be fantastic, but apparently you can't, so... I'm just going to leave that right there because I don't really need it. Oh, what's your name? I see you. Very, very interesting. Hello. Now I see everybody uh, touching this particular NPC for some reason, so I guess we will too. Take your hand. I grab your hand. Whoa. My master is not much further. Not much further, huh? Sounds good. Go ahead and check it out. Sorry if you hear any background noise. My son is playing with his awesome lawnmower right now. And it is definitely quite noisy. Alright, looks like we made it inside the monastery finally here. Touch this holy water. Get all healed up. I want to see what's up here. What do you got going on? Just do just chilling by himself. Stay a while. Sure, Listen you're the herbalist, the okay. Of a I most definitely can. This is the monastery. I figured. A place of I love the character design. Each each one is totally unique and different. Very, very cool. But you are an outsider. I offer you a way out of here. A certain degree of freedom. Care for me to elaborate? Mm, let's see. How do I... It's not letting me select. It is not letting me select which one here. Oh, oh, agree, nod, or shake. It wants me to agree. Nod. There, is there you go. That's a unique way to, uh... The one do the actual dialogue. Very cool. I like that quite a bit. Me. The one whose purpose of existence in this state is yet to be found. In Castle Roar, further into the main hall, lies the key that can change everything. Okay. Turns the tide of war, so to speak. A paradigm shift to our current predicament. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. You know when you see it. Before you go, talk to Rayala. She is my most trusted companion. You'll need her help if you want to get out of here. And Can I have what's in that box life. now, please? This. What's in here? It opens. I know it opens. Some of the hand move it kind of feels a little awkward still. <clears throat> That definitely kind of needs to be fixed, but other than that, it feels pretty good. Hello, madame. Look at just the character model and how, how like, how good it looks. It looks pretty, pretty crazy. Okay, hello. Talk to me. <laughs> hello. I'm here to talk. There we go. Now my service extends to you. You'll have my support, my trust, and my faith. You Even though I punched you in the face, I appreciate that. I mean, this is crazy looking. Of the warden. I can reverse it into a brand of resolution. Your sensitivity with matters would be enhanced. Your true potential unlocked. You would okay. become more than yourself. If you wish me to do so, Hold your arm out and grab the sphere. Uh, Let me reach out why to not? You. Your heart, your mind. Let me reach out to you. Your heart, your mind, your body. 
May you be adamant, unbroken, unwavering. Stand before the darkness and strive for the light. Let this brand guide your heart, soothe your mind, protect your body. Okay. Let it connect you with the matters around, bright or grim. Let it impel you to sense more, feel more, yearn for more. Holy moly, so here is a whole skill tree, which is just crazy right now. I have only two slots available. Clearly it starts right here in the middle with vitality. Or can I can I go anywhere? No, I gotta do vitality first. <clears throat> Increase vitality. Health points, health points. Physical damage. Magic, mana points, magic damage. So we got two, so we're just gonna branch our way completely out here. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. So that's what Matter did for us. So she's kind of the chick that uh, helps us bring our skills up. Face your foes, not with fear, but with purpose. Okay. You can be in charge of your fate with the matters you acquired. Be who you want to be. But beware. Desire can turn to greed. A light too strong can become blinding darkness. Okay. Consume matters. Don't let matters consume you. Aye aye, Captain, that's for sure. Having a little problem that every time, like, I pull up my hand, like, my hand isn't there for some reason. It takes a second and then it kicks on. Alright, let's go let's go talk to this dude. Matter. Okay, so you have Wow. Alright, pretty cool. You. Got a I whole blacksmith you. area. Why is this is completely like changed for sure. Oh no, you tell me. I just woke up and started fighting things out of a dungeon. Okay, so this must be some sort of... And choose what we want here, maybe? Okay. Light guard. Rip cross. Spear. Yeah, I'm not sure... Exactly what all this is. Or how it works, but... Definitely... Good to know. This is what it was left on. Maybe I just don't have the materials. Let's see what this you guy says. Claim your destiny or whatever it is the cripples sell you on. Leave me be. I need weapons, go Mr. Blacksmith. Whatever it is the cripples sell you on. Let's go see what the deal is here. Ah, so here's my put the armor on with both hands. So clearly we got the mage here. It probably gives me attributes for the mage. We got the knight. And uh, looks like a rogue. Um, man, I think we're going to go with this. Let's see what they all look like. That's pretty cool. I think, does it give you any type of... Yeah, okay, so it definitely gives you stats. So vitality, power magic, health regen, movement speed. Let's see what you got there, Mr. Knight. We'll see what the mage outfit has. Power. Okay. So you could definitely check the scroll for stored items. Don't think I have anything stored at the moment. So we'll go with the knight outfit for right now. Just so we have a little bit of armor until we kind of figure out exactly what's going on. Okay. Here I am. Look. Woo! That's a pretty cool way to, uh, to add... Like a mirror right there. I like that. That's pretty neat. Should have my bed over there, though. That'd be cool. The smelter. Well, I'm sure we'll figure out how all that works sooner or later. Rough wood. Mm, should I be able to take this? Maybe? I thought. Can I move this up? 
in any way, shape, or form. How does this actually... There we go. Okay, I see. So you gotta take what you have, put it in here, and then you can create it, which I definitely don't have any of yet. So let's go ahead and walk this way and see what this is all about. Clearly this is gonna be where our first dude was, I believe. Yep, over here. So I need to craft some type of magic wand, basically, is from what he was saying. Let's go ahead and go back and talk to this guy. We'll definitely open this, too. Just to have it open. We'll see, uh... What we can come up with, because I definitely want magic. Spell work, beautiful as ever. Now, venture forth, brave into darkness. There's bound to be foes and traps along the way, but fear not. Every time you fall, Rayala and I will bring you back. I cannot let you go empty-handed. Go talk to the blacksmith. Ah, I'm there sure you go. Choose something decent. I'm sure he will. I really want magic, though. So you better be giving me a magic wand. Or staff, should I say. Uh, yeah. Now you gotta give me what I want. Who? Children, all of you. Check out those weapon parts on the rack. Mix and match. Do whatever pleases you. Then ring the bell, and I'll craft them for you. Cool. Now let's see. Rough wood and proof of grit. I really... Oh man, I... My hand keeps disappearing. It, see, right? It's kinda, kinda awkward. There's just so much physics. Alright, this is definitely what I need right here. Always look the staff. For weapons. That's how you rise up from the corpses beneath your feet. Okay. If you find any schematics on your journey, bring them to me. I'll show you why warriors from the Lion's family were unmatched on the battlefield. Fantastic. Can I take this now? Are you gonna wait? Ah. Where does it go? Ah, okay. You actually physically hand it to me, which is you drop your freaking weapon, awesome. Someone will pick them up and store them in that cache. Thank you. I appreciate that. Someone can even go to places you can't go to retrieve them for you. Cool. Put any weapons you don't want into the smelter. You'll get your materials back. I feel like that really needs to go in a uh, sheath or something here. Maybe it can't. We'll find out. Don't drop your, your magic mace here. Don't forget to grab those potions on the table. They can keep you alive and keep you fighting. Okay. Considering what I asked of you. Perfect. Making potions is the least I can do. I agree. These are my weakness in a bottle. So to speak. I'm keeping my inheritance alive by keeping you alive. All set. I'm in your debt for this one. The realm, too. Use the navigation disc to head on to Castle Roar. Riala will teleport you there. Cool. I want to know how you actually change what you're taking out of your pack here, because that is a big deal. Not sure, like, it, there's no, like, buttons or anything like that that indicate really, like, what you're, what you're grabbing, so that kind of needs to be a thing. You should be able to toggle back and forth somehow. I'm not seeing how to do it, though, so might be just me, but I have a wooden rod now, so I'm going to go talk to the mage outside. Hopefully uh, he can teach me some magic real quick. 
running kind of feels a bit awkward too like you do have to move your arms but like i don't know like st stutters every once in a while if you can craft a magic staff i as an enthusiast for the arcane arts can teach you a thing or two about spell casting okay i believe i have one right here sir if you can teach me your ways Please, would this be one? Magic, magic. Oh ho ho! Oh ho! I think I learned magic without you, buddy. Elemental powers are matters materialized. Okay. Runes are very signia. They are the keys to the entire magic kingdom. The kingdom where matters really mattered. <laughs> Activate the room by moving your staff in its trace. Okay. Feel the matter concentrating on the tip of your staff. Aim it at your target, then cut your are actually quite good for a novice. Thank you. But then again. Who's not a novice in the presence of magic? Activate the room, then hold your staff over your head when slashing down. This will allow more energy surging through. Excellent. I always very nice. I might face the extinction of the purest magic in these last moments of my life. But instead, I bear witness to its legacy living on. So when spell casting here, it's definitely super hard to aim. Like uh I would love to see like a cursor pop up once the spell is activated. That would be fantastic. That's what she said. Go ahead and go back here. I'd also really like to see a sprint button with the um, joystick, like an L3 pushing in. That would be really, really cool. Uh, I think it would make things a lot easier. All right, here we go. See, that right there, there's, there's just really no... I was able to breach into the order way to aim properly so it could be used by us without any interference sadly thank you for that binds me to this place if you need me to open portals for you go to the navigation disk no matter how far the destination is as long as the shards resonate i will send you where you want to go and bring you back when you need to okay I will remain here doing my best to aid you in the journey even though I cannot accompany you physically, the brand creates a bond between us. I can sense where you are, what you're going through. Your body may collapse, but your spirit... See, I aim that right at her and it went above her head. There needs to be some type of targeting system or uh, just a crosshair. Not all the time, just when you activate the spell where you're able to, to really aim properly. That would be great. I think that would be so good. All right, so the crystals here obviously are put you in the area you need to go. So I think that's right. Am I doing that right? Put your equipment back into the slot. Well, I would, but don't think uh, I can. Can I put it behind me? How do I uh, put my equipment away? I'm trying to, but that may be a big glitch right there because I definitely cannot put my staff in a holster. 
trying to maybe maybe do I put it this way? No, that doesn't work. Don't feel anything on my back as far as a vibration or anything like that. So I guess we just won't be using magic right now. Not sure what's up with that, but that definitely needs to be fixed. Um, it might just be because I have this type of armor on too. Let's go check that out real quick. That's a very good possibility. Maybe I'm only allowed to use... Yeah, see how the running doesn't really like translate... Let's see here. Nope. Still does not work. Very interesting. I don't feel anything on my back. Okay. We're not going to be able to use magic for a little while, it would appear. But I am going to save this staff, which kind of sucks because I definitely wanted to use that. But it just is what it is. So, for now... We will just use the knight. Uh, definitely add slots so you can put things on your back. Because I feel like for a mage, you definitely have to have that. Maybe I'm missing something, but I didn't feel any vibration. Maybe the box isn't big enough. Uh, whatever the case may be, it does not feel comfortable doing that. So we have to have things sheathed in order to leave the area so that is definitely something that i would like to see if there is a way to put it on your back it needs to be a bigger box for sure right let's go ahead and head out it looks like need to find a shield along the way i suppose oh wow Oh ho! Got an archer up there. Run away from him. Go ahead and take him out first if we can, possibly. Yeah, the running just feels super awkward. I really need it on L. L3. That'd be great. Aha! I uh, double sword this. Ooh, he came back to life? What the heck? How was that even possible? Okay, so they actually disappear when they're 100% dead, so. Make sure they are dead! <laughs> All right, shall we proceed on? Oh, okay, what do we got here? Some type of something. I'm not sure what this is. Iron unlocked. Okay, it's a uh, schematic for your actual blacksmith, I take it. Hey, ah, throw that away. Should be full health again. There's definitely a dude down there, which I'm f having a feeling we're going to have to go down there anyways. But, boy, just look at this city. Very, very cool. Very interesting. Yep, we're going to have to go down. That's fine. We can do that. Double check everything, as always. Holy moly, look at all of them. Let's go. I want to at least get into the city. Yeah, the only gripe I have right now is not being able to sheath that staff. It might be a glitch. might just be me. I'm not sure. Definitely let me know in the comments below. Um, and running is, is kind of whack to me right now. I'd rather have running on an L3 press down, uh, especially when we're not even using it for anything right now. So I'd definitely rather have it that way. Come on then, bring it. Let's go. Oh, okay. Maybe not all of you. Oh, you just you just going for it, ain't you? Oh, 
fighting all three of you. Holy cow. Aha, take that. Ooh, that health isn't looking good. But I do have some matter. Really wish I could use that magic staff right now. That'd be great. Kind of play a little bit of a ranged character with the magic. That'd be fantastic. I really need to get myself a shield, which I'm hoping I can get from this dude right quick. Come on. Bring it. Well, you can see there, my hands disappeared like, I don't know, when they're out of screen and you pull them up, they're not always r there right away. Come on. Really? Oh man, all three of you want to come at me. Oh, what is my hand doing? There's definitely some hang-ups on the characters when you're swinging still, that's for sure. But for the most part, it definitely feels good. Ho 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 ho. Whoa ho ho ho. You scared? What? You scared yet? You should be. Take that. All right, let's go ahead and proceed on here. Absolutely insane. Looks like we got a box of some sort over here. I don't know what it is with the uh, the movement, but when I go to try to run, it like stutters the whole time it's it's, it's kind of crazy oh a source gem what we got here and this must be like some type of bomb yep it's a bomb that i just wasted for sure but that's definitely a pretty cool little add-on there still want to figure out how do i know which uh potion I'm pulling out. I can see it's got like a little pink like bottle and all that stuff but you should be able to select it somehow. Something that really isn't explained in the tutorial at all so definitely would add that in there. Okay. Just lost my sword for no reason. Take that. Demons. You dead? Nope, you're not. You gotta make sure you kill these guys before you move on because they. Chopping their heads off will do. They will definitely get back up and sneak up behind you, no doubt about it. Oh boy. Looks like we got some type of skeleton over here. Bye-bye. Go ahead and go up here, because I don't want those knights. There's an archer over there that's got a bow and arrow, obviously. Oh, yep, there he goes. See, I should be able to switch what I'm using here. Maybe it's meant to be like that. Dodge! Nope. 
instead I'll chop your head. Yeah, you should die for sure. I'd like to use that bomb at some point, but it doesn't look like I can hold it. And what are you? Okay, you are not an archer. You are a beast. Come on, fall off. That's what I thought, fool. Alright. And it appears that my character froze up there for a second, which is kind of awkward. So there's definitely some updates that need to be done to this game, 100%. But for the most part, it, it's definitely addicting, no doubt about it. And I totally love the combat. It feels great. see should I turn this there we go that'll let me into the city for sure and we definitely have a checkpoint now which is very very cool very very awesome so I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right there just so I don't spoil too much for you but this game is absolutely amazing I mean look at the scenery looks great feels great for the most part little pet peeves here and there um, I think it might be better to play without the body IK possibly because I feel like the arms and stuff get hung up on certain things and have a little bit more physics than they should. Uh, but swinging the swords and things like that feel great. Um, I am I'm a little upset about the not being able to use the magic. I don't know what was going on with the staff. I couldn't holster it properly. Um, that kind of sucked. And down here with the pa the the pouch, I, I gotta know like how you switch like which one you want there. I'm not sure how that happens. Um, if anybody does know, let me know in the comments below because I definitely want to do that. Um, but everything else is fantastic. This is definitely probably the closest to Dark Souls or Souls esque or Souls like, however you want to say it, is. Uh, you're gonna get in virtual reality so i absolutely love this metal cat did an absolutely fantastic job from when it went from project l was the last time i played it and i can tell you there is just so so much more added to this game and uh it's absolutely fantastic you will probably see a full playthrough of this for me um as far as the story goes because i'm pretty much addicted so Definitely support Metal Cat. Uh, but that whole entire process to making a game like this is absolutely insane. So definitely do that. I will leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And we will see you very soon. And we will be collecting more souls. Y'all have a good night. Thanks for watching.